a power 3 divided by a square. This is equal to a cube over a square. So which equal to a times a times a or over a times a. So I can cancel this with this, this with this. So the answer is equal to a. a to the power 4 divided by a square. So I can write as fractions, so which is a power 4 over a square. This is just the same as a times a times a times a and over a times a. So this cancel with this 2 here. So you live with a times a. a times a is a square. So a to the power 5 divided by a square. So a power 5 over a square. So which equal to a times a times a times a and times a over a times a. So this cancel with this, this cancel with this. So live with a to the power of 3. So similarly, a to the power 5 divided by a to the power 3. So which is a to the power 5 over a power 3. So this is equal to a times a times a times a times a over a times a times a. So this cancel with this, this cancel with this, this cancel with this. So the answer is a times a is a square. So a to the power of 7, so which is equal to a to the power of 7 divided by a power of 3, it's just same as a to the power of 7 over a to the power of 3. So I just write in expanded form, so which is a times a times a times a times a times a and times a over a times a times a. So I cancel this a with this, this with this, this with this. So a times a times a times a is a to the power of 4. So have a look at a to the power of 3 divided by a square. So the answer is a. So a mean a to the power of 1. So if you think about it, okay, this pattern here, a to the power of 3 divided by a square it is equal to a to the power of 1. And then a to the power of 4 divided by a to the power of 2 which give me a to the power of 2. And a to the power of 5 divided by a square, the answer is a to the power of 3. And if you look at the pattern, and the pattern is like a power of 5 divided by a power of 3 is a square. So the pattern is this, 3 minus 2 is 1, so a to the power of 1. 4 minus 2 is 2, 5 minus 2 is 3, and 5 minus 3 is 2, and so on. So a power of 7 divided by a power of 3 is just 7 minus 3, so it's a to the power of 4. So therefore, in general, a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m minus n. Or a to the power of m over a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m minus n. Please take note on this rule. Let's do a few examples. So which is x to the 7 minus 4. So 7 minus 4 is 3. So m to the power of 15 divided by m to the power of 5 and divide by m to the power of 4, so it is equal to 15 minus 5 minus 4. So 15 minus 5 is 10, 10 minus 4 is 6. So the answer is m to the power of 6. 12 
x to the power of 9 divided by 4 x to the power of 3. So, so number divided by number. So 12 divided by 4 is 3. And then x to the power of 9 divided by x to the power of 3 is which is minus the index. So 9 minus 3 is 6. So therefore, the answer is 3 x to the power of 6. Now, 24 x to the power of 7 divided by 2 x to the power of 4 and then divided by 3 x squared. So 24 divided by 2 is 12. 12 divided by 3 is 4. Otherwise, just use calculator. Use 24 divided by 2 divided by 3. Now, with pro numerals, so which is x to the power of 7 divided by x power of 4 and x squared, just go 7 minus 4 and minus 2. 7 minus 4 is 3, 3 minus 2 is 1. So 4x. Negative 10p power of 7 divided by p to the power of 5. So negative 10 divided by 2, so just one negative, so the answer is negative. 10 divided by 2 is 5. And then p plus 7 divided by p plus 5, it is 7 minus 5 is 2. So therefore, p square. Okay, this one here. So negative 10 divided by negative 2 divided by negative again, so 3 negative. So the answer is negative. So 10 divided by 2 is 5. So I just write it down. And then p power of 17 divided by p to the power of 5 and then divided by p power of 8. So I just do 17 minus 5 minus 8. So 17 minus 5 is 12 and 12 minus 8. So 10 minus 8 is 2 and 2 is 4. So p to the power of 4. Please stop the video and try this one yourself. So the first one is just equal to 5 minus 3, so m to the power of 2. Second one, so 12 minus 2, which is 10, 10 minus 7 is 3, so n to the power of 3. So don't forget, the rule is a power of n divided by a power of m is same as a n minus m. Just keep that in mind, okay? So 40 divided by 4 is 10. And then 12 minus 8, 10 minus 8 is 2, and 2 is 4. So a to the power of 4. I just clear this first. So minus 14 divided by 2 divided by 3. So it's 2 negative. So the answer positive. So 14 divided by 2, which is 7. 7 divided by 3, we can't do much. So we have to write in fraction in this case here. So 7 over 3. And then 18 minus 4, so which is 14. So 14 minus 2 is 12. So x to the power of 12. Now, 33 divided by negative 11, the answer is negative, negative. And then 33 divided by 11 is 3. t power of 9 divided by t power of 5, so 9 minus 5 is 4. So t to the power of 4. Negative 25 and then another negative 5, which is the, the answer should be positive because 2 negative. So now 25 divided by 5 is 5. So h to the power of 17 divided by h to the power of 5 and then divided by h to the power of 8. So just go 17 minus 5, which is 12. Again, 12 minus 8, the answer is 4. So which is h to the power of 4. Thank you so much for watching.